Okay, hello there everyone. I'm just going to give a quick rundown of how this works. This is a geyser pump that I've made and it's based on an airlift pump technology but it's um, a little bit more sophisticated but that's kind of uh, overstating it because it doesn't have any moving parts and um, it can pump some pretty large solid objects like gravel and other waste. Um, this has only got a 10mm hose coming out the end because I wanted to get some good pressure from it but with a bigger hose and more airflow it can pump much larger much larger solids up to like 10 millimeters um, okay so here's how it works I'm just gonna break it down and as I said I'll show you how it works tomorrow so this is just like a little cap on there and see this is the inner tube you can see there there's a hole there and basically once the pressure builds up to the right point um, the air um, travels into this hole and uh, it pushes up a small column of water and then there's a lug of air trapped underneath it and because that's um, more buoyant than the water it will rise up um, if for example say the pump is submerged to where my fingers are then um, yeah, that air bubble is going to want to travel all the way up the tube and it gets quite a bit of momentum on the way up and then it fires out a jet of water as the air bubble breaks the breaks the surface and equalizes with the atmospheric pressure. Okay. So then if you look in the bottom here, you see there's like several chambers. It's just like chambers within chambers because I just wanted to see, you know, I've tried it with all different numbers, you know, one chamber, two chamber, three chamber, and you know you get all different results, but this one gives you like the most pressure and like the biggest jets at once. If you submerge it just up to here you get like a pretty continuous flow of water coming out at quite a good velocity. Okay so that's the basics of it. I can't really take it all apart with just one hand but then the other point is that there's just that one small hole there and that's why I put an air pump into it just a normal aquarium air pump and that gets quite a good quite a good jet as I've said or it can lift it quite high. So um, if this was set up with a larger pumping system, then a larger air pump, then I think it would um, be able to move a serious amount of water at once. Yeah. So thanks for that, everyone.